Oh man, I'm coming in with all of the spice today. What is going on people's DJ Av here and I definitely want to talk about this topic here and that is about people getting screwed over for their placements and their credit and their money. So I have a perfect story for that and I'm using it as a catalyst for the topic and I'm going to give my hot take. So I definitely want to hear from you guys in the comment section of how you feel about this situation and it goes like this. So this producer's name is Wilo and he makes sample packs or whatnot and he had an issue with Cash Money AP. So what I'm going to do here is link everything in the description box so you can read it for yourself and make your own judgment. So uh, it says Real Pop Smoke new album out now produced for the night remake of my sample. So he starts off by, you know, letting you know that he was ripped off. I wish I could start this post differently. Really, not the dude that likes drama, but I can't be quiet about this. I'll tell y'all a little story about this real quick. Cash Money AP tried to sign me. I took my time to think about everything because I had a couple of other offers on the table as well. I didn't know if I should sign already or not because uh, this didn't work out. At the end, I didn't sign he let one of his producers remake my sample to try to not credit and pay me. He, his, his writing is all over the place. I apologize. Originally, the track should have been released on my sample. I never really liked the sample, but the remake is even worse. LOL. Palass and Mike Dean did not have nothing to do with this. I'm not trying to clout chase. Producers get used all the time already. We need to speak up about things like this. My lawyer is getting everything handled. Swipe left for the original sample. Uh, spread the word. RIP Pop Smoke. Update. AP added me to his post just because my lawyer and because of the heat he got in case y'all ask yourselves. I'm, I'm going to chalk up all this uh, broken English too. He might be from another country or whatever. Uh, I'm just going to go and look because holy crap. It doesn't say where he's from, but I'm going to guess that he's from Europe or something like that. So, you know, if he has broken English, I can totally understand that. I'm American and I, my English is trash. So I, I ain't got nothing against homie for, you know, typing it the way he did. But let this be a lesson to you guys that, you know, things like this doesn't come easy. Like you will have to, and I repeat, you will have to, you know, risk it all. You will risk it all. And all you have to do, to be honest, is just to build up your catalog, work with artists that are around you. I know a lot of people might be in different countries and stuff like that. And that's the reason why some people reach out to, you know, producers that have uh, clientele per se. But when you love music, man, just make sure that you love music enough to know that, hey, you need to be lawyered up before, before you step into the room with Cash Money AP because he is the alleged super producer. So you have to have your legal stuff all in tuck because those guys are going to make sure that they have their lawyers and try to provide their lawyers for you. And their lawyers are only in the corner of them because they are the ones that are making the bread. So, I mean, huh, I'm just keeping it 1000 with a lot of you young heads out here that might experience the exact same thing. So my hot take. Oh, my gosh. So where do I begin? So I guess I have to begin with the situation in itself. So. I know that you jumped on social media to get the attention of everybody that you got screwed over, but I hate to say it, it's your fault. And the reason why I say it's your fault is because you're willing to work with so many different people when you're already talented enough to work for yourself. And I think a lot of people want to take these different shortcuts so they can get to the big placements and bragging about it and making money and all of this other stuff that comes along with being an industry music producer. And the reason why I say that is because I have experienced the exact same thing that you're going through. It's a part of the game. I hate to say it. It's a part of the game. And we all have to learn this lesson for ourselves not to be too hungry to work with everybody because it can affect the economy <laughs> in your household it can affect the future of whatever else you do because you know you're messing with a big producer that has all these different connections and because he has these different connections 
is the fact that he put in the actual work. And a lot of you guys probably wouldn't be discovered if you didn't do this type of thing where you spam people and you want to meet up and do these collaborations with people that are around the age where you should not experience any burnout. Like, I don't get it. With all these tools that are out, with all these things that you can use to come up with all these different melodies and, and how easy it is to make music in general, I don't see the point of collaborations these days, especially when the vast majority of music right now is just following an actual trend, which this has always been like this in the music industry. So I don't even know why I brought that up, but it's quite easy to do this because almost everybody knows what drums they're going to use and all this stuff and, and what the cool kids or the younger kids want to hear. And that's pretty much how the music industry in itself has worked for the past couple of decades. But as an elder, I've learned something from the other old heads because I know a lot of people like to say, oh, you're an old head and you're a hater and all this stuff. But the thing that was passed down to me could be worked into almost anything that happens when it comes to scam culture all together. And that is, if you see a sucker, then lick it. And I hate to say it, you got licked. Now, I hope that you avoid this because I did see in your post that you did seek out legal help, which you should always have a legal team if you're going to step against somebody or work with somebody that is this much higher than you in the hierarchy of music or whatever you're doing. Like you should always be legally prepared for anything because these situations happen. Also, in this regard, I can't just demonize uh, Cash Money AP, even though you kind of lashed out on him. And no, I'm not friends with Cash Money AP or taking up for him, but the labels control a lot of this stuff. There's a lot of producers out here, and a lot of the producers sound exactly the same. And this is not a diss guy, so calm down. And they don't know who did all the credit. Nine times out of 10, you don't even find out if you got a placement until the album comes out or until the single that has dropped and they have done the whole entire proper rollout, the SM Zeus, <laughs> the promoting on all the social media, et cetera, et cetera. You're the last to find out. Even the artist themselves knows when the project comes out. The producer is massively in last place in this proper time and day and age, unfortunately, because of how many producers they are out there, because music is very easy to do. And once the label itself has pushed this out and rest in peace, Pop Smoke, I don't see the point of you even having more music pushed out, but I guess, you know, uh, people want to hear more of your music and you were a very talented young man. It's, it happens like that. Like the label will push it out and the people that have the name and the credits before you and all that will get the biggest credit. I hate to say it. It's happened so many different times to where, you know, even if you tell somebody uh, at the label, well, this person did this and whatever, they even try to convince you that you should have the name on the credit. And yeah, I've seen it. Hate to see it. When it comes down to it, hell, wasn't it? Not too long ago where I just did a video about not getting credited for the Suicide Boys music on their album because I did a lot of those loops that were on that album. <laughs> like, for real. They even used a vocal sample that I did. Like, a vocal sample of me saying it and everybody recognizing that it was me saying it. And <laughs> I was not credited on there. Those for a royalty-free pack. That's why I really didn't trip out. And also there's a stipulation even with that, because I'm going to have to expound on royalty free in another video, because once you claim that sample and the label claims it, they're publishing it. So it's not royalty free anymore. So therefore it kind of violates the terms of services of royalty free for everybody else, even including me, it can hurt my income and yeah. Just think about that. And that album, I think, is gone gold already. Crazy. The darkest side of this is that a lot of you guys don't understand when y'all put y'all music out there, no matter if it's on YouTube or BeatStars or whatever beat site or Bandzoogle or Bandcamp or whatever, this exact same situation can still freaking happen. 
Hell, last year I went to a record label and I was with an artist and the a and and many other people in that entourage. And I heard a story where a manager was getting paid for beats that he was ripping off the internet and having them remade. A matter of fact, they took all of us upstairs, the artist himself, they had ripped a beat off of the internet and it had the beat tags in there. So therefore you're not safe. You had the beat tags. The a and didn't like the track. So what I did was I replayed the track wholly entirely different than what the beat was altogether. Another producer stepped in that was friends of the record label and did his part placement. Yeah, it's a filthy game. I hate to say it. Bills got to be paid. And if I'm saying that in this video, openly admitting it that then what do you think a lot of these other cats would do in the exact same situation when money is on the line? Because all of this happens because of money. And if you're not prepared for that part of the game, then guess what? A lot of people are going to step on your neck and you wouldn't even know it because you got music out here. You got sample packs out here or whatever. And I have been stepped on all over my neck as far as sample packs, presets and all this stuff. So this game is very nasty, but it's up to you to see how long you can survive in this game and to either make the right or the wrong moves. You choose the path, the left hand side or the right hand side. And that's all I got to say.